Hello, good morning. Yes, thank you so for the one thumbs up. So we're live now, and I'm here with Kate. It's uh, six fifty-three a.m. in the morning. So this is well, this will take just a few minutes only, and um, our topic for. Today's live is when did Kate show signs of autism? So yes, that's the question that I've been receiving a um, month ago, and then I will address that question. So Kate showed signs of autism at the age of two without knowing it. So I didn't realize that she had autism when I noticed that she tiptoed and um, keep turning around. Yeah, if my if my memory serves me correctly. <laughs> All right. So yes, at age three, so her doctor Pedia noticed that she's acting differently different from other kids so she couldn't say any words although she can count numbers from one to ten and she couldn't say mama or papa and i didn't realize then because i was really busy working and until her doctor told me that maybe you should see um a doctor so a uh, behavioral doctor if my so and then at the time so we went to Cebu City and then after that we it took me I guess around three months to get an appointment so it was really hard because she was just three years old at that time she couldn't talk and she will just cry if she needs something she will cry cry out loud and um it was really hard for me to travel at that time but i then i guess i guess as a mom i have to sacrifice so and then um and then we went to the doctor and then the doctor said that she had mild autism. So during that time, so I guess autism, um, like they they categorize it as Asperger or high functioning or mild autism or nonverbal. But I guess she couldn't identify then if it belongs to that category. So, but she can count numbers. She can, she can talk few words, only one one word, I guess. And she told us that we have to see a uh, speech therapy and occupational therapy. And I research everything from. from I I did my research. So um blankies? No, it's not yet. I, I, I did my research about autism because I I didn't know about anything anything about autism. So I did my research. I I I I um read about EBA therapy like applied behavioral analysis. Uh, applied behavioral analysis i i, I forgot if that's the correct uh, meaning so yes and then we went to a school that specializes behavioral aba therapy now she's out now <laughs> and then we had three months therapy for kate and after that it was really expensive Ten thousand a month, so it costs a lot. And yes, we had it intensive therapy, 
and Kate improves. And we also had her MRI because she fell down the stairs, con concrete stairs at 11 months. And after that, she showed signs of autism. Um, she used to be a happy baby, but after the, the accident, she, I'm, I'm not really sure if that's the reason why she had a vision, but I guess there are several factors that we can consider, like environmental or genetic and so on. And uh, yes, so moving on to that behavioral therapy. So we had it three months and it improved, but then we couldn't continue it because we're living in the rural area, so it, it was really hard for us to continue. So, and then we moved here in our hometown, and that's, we enrolled Kate in SPED. And she's doing well, but at this time, they couldn't have any physical classes at all. So, we will just wait in. At this time, I have to make sure that I can teach Kate some tasks about how to handle herself. And she is improving now and hoping that I can continue sharing her improvements and development soon. So I will update to you guys. And Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing our channel. See you on our next upload. Thank you. Bye.